Okay, Adam's using there and they when talking about Cody, so we'll do that. All right, just wanted to make sure because I thought I saw that, but I wasn't sure. But going forward, like, let's see what know, Cody has to say. Uh, just on an off note, she <laughs> they said that they had um an iPhone and switch to Android. I, I will never, I will never go back to Android. I'm so sorry if you're an Android lover. I, I cannot do it. I think there are good things about Androids. You know, you can really personalize it, you know, a lot. If you're that type of person to like have your phone customized, iPhones are kind of like, it's the same, what you get is what you get. You can change certain things, but not too much. If you like to customize and do all that, great. The camera situation, I, I I liked the camera when I was using it, but I, I don't like the interface. I think it's too much going on for me. Um, I didn't like that there's no FaceTime, like, come on. I just didn't like all my messages were green. I, I, I just couldn't do it. I went right back to iPhone. I, I can't. But when I had an iPhone, I lost all of my screen recordings and my videos because so they're gonna show some receipts apparently Cody's vibe and personality, like, I can't catch them. I can't catch them, like, I feel like, and maybe I need to watch more videos to get a real understanding of their vibe, because this one, obviously, they're hyped up, there's controversy and everything like that. I, I can't catch the vibe, right? Like, I don't know how I feel yet about this person, like, but knowing that they were sitting on all this information for years and then you want to bust out all big and bad like three years later with this video seemingly out of nowhere. I'm just like not feeling that at all when Adam was getting trashed <laughs> and is so young. I didn't realize how young he still is. He's still not 21. Like I, I just no. Okay. So she started getting followers and she made this video making fun of Colleen slash Miranda Sings and then her Miranda's slash Colleen's fans started coming over to her Twitter and started following her and that's how she got into this fandom. Great, fine. He explained it. I can see how that could happen. But why and how are we here now? And why are they saying that you were doing the same things? Why is Dustin Daly, with whom I've watched his stuff in the past, I pretty I like Dustin. And um, Nick, I believe that's his partner's name, Nick. I've watched Viewer's Choice. I think that's what it used to be. I think, I don't if it's still called that. Um, I like them. And Dustin is calling them calling you out saying that you're doing the same thing so I'm kind of looking at you sideways when watching this Cody Cody's a grown adult in their 30s. So now I see what they're saying because if she was in the chats, yeah, she was an adult. If she's there, if they're 30 now, they were sure as hell an adult when they when they were in the um group chat fandoms in 2018. Yeah. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, you were an adult. So I see now how they're saying if you also were in those group chats doing the same inappropriate shit when you knew minors were in this group chat. And the group chat was called Weenies. Like Weenies. All I remember is like Weenies from like Weenie Hut Jr. on Spongebob. Okay? Like Weenies. All y'all are... I don't know. I have gotten like adding these random group chats on Twitter that I, I don't even know how I've gotten in them where these people come from and I immediately leave because I'm like I don't want I don't want the notifications. I don't even know who you are. I don't know what any of this is like and I can't like I can't. I find it hard to even respond to my few text messages I get in my day to day. I could not imagine having a group chat with multiples and multiples and multiples of people just talking all day fucking long. I, I, I couldn't do it. It works for some people. I would lose my effing mind. I can't do it. Don't do it, but you did it, honey. <laughs> now you getting under fire. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it, but you did it. Boom. So Cody says when she joined these group when they joined these group chats, they did not know that there was minors in the group chat. But but they should have done the research on it. We all hear that should not have been in group chats with minors, which is what. Colleen is being accused of doing along with other things but being in group chats and saying inappropriate things to minors is what you're saying that Colleen has done yet you're saying just now you were in the group chats with minors you're saying you didn't know but you're also saying you should have done the research it's so wishy-washy like, I really don't understand why they felt like they had a leg to stand on making this video. They shot themselves in the foot off of this. And to come off in the beginning like so, uh, 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 like I don't care, say what you want, bop, 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 and then like, no. Then to do a live crying and everything. It's a real person and they wrote a fanfic. Oh my God. <laughs> God, it's not funny, but it's just like, it's not like, what the F? Okay, 20 is still young. She, they're saying that they wrote this fanfic back when they were 20. I'm saying that it's young for Adam, so I have to be fair on that, and I'm not going to judge anybody for writing fanfic, but why? It's a real person, and you're putting out a story about them being kidnapped and assaulted and thought that that was going to fly. Why? Like, like, I know I feel like I'm somewhat chronically online at some points and I really have to take a step back, but, like, it's just too much. It's just too much. Like, it's a real person. You can't do that. 
you can't you just i did that was because at the time i was dealing with trauma from an ex he stalked me he tried to revenge porn on me he would make fake accounts and stalk me he was a hacker so he was also able to like call me using a family member's phone number like I was oh my god and so cody had a lot going on in her life had an ex that was stalking her blocking her doing all types of stuff she's got stuff going in all over on the fan fix <laughs> she's in the group they're in the group chats doing a lot with the online i, I just and i <sighs> there's so many thoughts i can't even wrap my head all the way around this shit like cody i think after this and after that live from yesterday we need to take a step back they say that they're deplatforming themselves but um maybe just a break you don't have to like deplatform your whole self and well maybe you do i don't know let's get more into this so they wrote this fanfic because they were tr coping with the trauma of their ex being a hacker slash stalker type person. And so they were dealing with their trauma by making this fanfic. And it helped to make this character, I guess, get kidnapped and assaulted. That's just what I'm taking from what they said. Maybe I'm wrong. That is OD as hell for the ex to do. Yeah, that's strange. But I kind of feel like this is misplaced for this video. It's like they're trying to explain why they made this fanfic and why it's okay that they had this kidnapping and assaulting being done to this real person who is a character but this does not really i don't feel like belongs in this video this is a separate video you want to talk about the ex your stalker the hacker and whatnot that's fine i just feel like it's very misplaced here and i'm like you're not proving for me it's not connecting you're not you're you're not proving what it is that you're trying to prove to connect why it is that you made this fanfic of a real fucking person getting kidnapped and assaulted the connection for me maybe for you it's working but the connection for me is not working like why are we getting screenshots of you and your ex We're in the same. I will say, 2018 was a shit show for me too. So, like, 2018, oh my god. Yeah, homies were going through some things. 2018 can go chuck itself off like oh god 2018 was just horrible for me for me Trisha Paytas so Cody says they were doing the Trisha Paytas met method back in 2018 doing controversial things and doing absolutely anything to get attention and when you do that there's always going to be some shit that comes back up. Always. 
because you were doing things that you knew were controversial and wrong, but did not care because you wanted the attention, views, whatever, you know, you're benefiting off of. It's always going to come back up because you knew back then that it wasn't right. So why would you think years later that someone's not going to dig that shit? I remember Trisha Paytas doing this John Bonet Ramsey parody. She was talking about why she votes for, wanted to vote for like Mike Pence and why she supports Trump. And just, she would do, she identifies as a chicken nugget. She would, just so many things, so many things. She says she had a hacker and a stalker. Like everybody on YouTube has had a hacker and a stalker, like a la Tana Mojo. Like it's just, it's the thing to do when you're starting out, I guess, and you want the views, you be controversial, you do, you know, crazy things. Like, I, I don't know. But 2018 was certainly a fucked year. So that I slightly understand, slightly. The stuff that I would do was for attention. I would be mean on purpose to the people that talk about me so they'd watch my videos. That was my mindset. What about they would be mean on purpose so people would talk about her and we'll talk about them and watch their videos. I don't think that still works anymore. Like people, that might have been like back in the day, like I think that type of humor was in, but like people are so not about that anymore. Like it, it, it's evolved. I would have people from the Koinanda fandom be like, oh, do you want to be in the fanfic? And I would use their name in the fanfic. Some of these people were minors and that had their name in the fanfic. The way that Eric character was being assaulted. Nick Jake number three. Should not have been doing that. Well, at least they're telling on themselves, my goodness. At least they're telling on themselves because this is just does not sound good for them at all. Where are we going to get to where Colleen comes into this? Because they're just telling on themselves at this moment, which I guess, great, grand, get it off your chest. But uh, where's the Colleen of it all? Yeah, they were not going to remake your fanfic. She also mentioned me. I think it was VidCon. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember the exact place it was. But she did mention me at an event and called me Koda Rams, which is wild that that happened. So this is... So I guess then she further got into the fandom because Colleen Ballinger slash Miranda Sings mentioned her, uh, mentioned them and at an event. Okay, so she's taking us through the story. Sorry, they were taking us through the story. So now I'm understanding where we're getting. She's given the backstory. We're getting into how she be how they became connected to Colleen Ballinger and everything like that. So at this point, Cody Rance is on Colleen Ballinger's radar. Talking about people 
from going to the show, as you can see right here, I was saying I'll be there, and people were like, oh my god, the big green in front of her. She's going to the show. People were making fun of the fact that I was going, so that was something new. So how are you guys getting paid? So this is like the group chat that was for the Cleveland show. I joined the group chat. I ended up going to the show. I'll show you some pictures from that. So like, here's a picture. Here's another picture. When I'm there at the show, I like meet other people in the fandom. But right after, this is June. So this is the next month after the whole show and the Cleveland show and all that stuff. This is when like Tana Khan ran. That ran. Oh through. Lord, so Tana Khan. Did Cody go to TanaCon? Do y'all remember TanaCon? Oh my god. Like, there's been a lot of drama over the years with these YouTubers. Do y'all remember TanaCon when she had those people sitting out in the sweltering heat with no water, no food, a packed convention center that had like, <laughs> I think, capacity for like 300 people or something ridiculous like that? Her and Bella Thorne out there not knowing what the hell to do. Just complete ass mess. And then took accountability really for none of it and blamed it on some other guy who to this day still I think is blaming it on Tana because Tana tried to act like she didn't know XYZ and that this guy lied about to her about this and made her feel this and was telling her this. Tana really was able to get up through kind of unscathed on that one too. Good gracious. But what, weren't they doing that? Weren't they doing that? She literally started off talking shit about the Miranda girl, Colleen, and then turned into being a fandom. And was talking hella, and was in these group chats, and was apparently doing stuff on Colleen's behalf because she's about to tell us how they got so close. Y'all, I can't. Right? Yo, oh, good gracious, that James Charles. Stay in your comforter. Stop the Yankee syphilis. I still have just like the photos from when that happened. Look at me with my pink stained eyes with my hive. Here's another one. <laughs> and then I started getting even worse comments. Like, oh my god, I should show you those too. Let's just relive my trauma. Like, here's one. Here's another. Here's more. People really think, think that they can talk them. any type of way to others online like behind a keyboard. Them. But my goodness, you know good and well if it was face to face, if it was right here, you wouldn't be saying anything. Like I, that does irritate me. Wow. 
So this is where she, where they bring in Adam. So Adam, back in 2020, made a video saying, Colleen Ballinger, stop lying. This is a video I never ever thought I would have to make and my heart breaks making it. My intentions are to tell my side of the story. So I don't know if Adam made this video after Colleen made that whole addressing everything and like throwing him under the bus or he made this after and then that video was her response to this video of him. But this is where Adam comes in. manipulating a child to work for her for free because he would be doing stuff for her online um pretty much i feel like boosting like her presence and like you know giving free publicity and like you know supporting her when people were talking shit about her he would like go after those people you know in support of colleen um trauma dumping basically was telling this minor child about like her relationship with her husband and like their sex life and who does that with a child it makes no logical effing sense and i'm just thinking because maybe all of this is done online that they're forgetting that these are actual people on the other side and that they're minors like are you somehow forgetting that along you as you're talking like you're forgetting because you're so online you're not like i don't know i don't know what it is and i'm not trying to make excuses there are no excuses but like i'm just trying to wrap my head around why you would be telling a minor a child somebody you don't know about your personal relationship with your husband or ex-husband talking about the inner workings of that it like it's so weird. It's so weird. Colleen would talk about her divorce with Adam. A child. He, to this day, right now. Adam is not even 21 years old. So, like, what? <laughs> what? get what they're saying like yes you should not trauma dump on people like I could, like when you're constantly like going to somebody and telling them like all your issues and everything like that not asking about them at all you know not checking in with them like that is a lot but you are a allowed to have friends with whom you talk about things that are difficult in your life but don't be doing the most like you should be getting a therapist to talk about things that are traumatizing because you don't want to re-traumatize other people that may that you don't know if they've gone through situations like that so like I get that but like you should also be able to feel like you can talk to your friends but make sure that you, if you're talking and sharing and this that, and another you're also checking in on them and allowing them to do the same thing but I don't think that you should be talking to a child about your divorce and about your sex life with your man that makes utterly no sense to me Colleen like and she's it seems like she's not gonna say anything about that because it's like girl you had friends you would think unless it was fake you know you have friends fellow youtubers you were doing this you were doing that you were doing shows like why are you talking to a child about your relationship I literally said, he's bullying a child I hated. He 
if you're Corey's like, if you're somebody that would be like. So I did consent to the lingerie. And immediately it takes me away. My mom kept it. I didn't even see it. But my mom would just take them away because they'd be so shocked. Colleen actually sent that lingerie that I was talking about in my last video to Adam. His parents intercepted it and didn't even give it to him until he's talking on this video about it now when he was addressing everything three years ago. Colleen actually took... He's pulling out a brawl right now that I'm looking at from Adam in this video that she's talking about. She took a brawl and seemingly probably something else put it into a package, put his address on it, went to mail it, all those steps to a child and thought at no point that this is weird and fucked up and maybe I should not be sending lingerie to a literal, probably at that point, 15, 16 year old boy. Colleen needs to say something, something. Oh my god. I was not on their side. As then I was showing concern about Adam being bullied by the community. Oh my god, I need to make a video. So I was already working on my deluxe finale. And so I was like, I need to finish this and then I'll work on that. And I want to delete and see like what happens. I am going to show you DMs between me and Colleen and me and Corey. Because I think you need to see these. She DMs me and says, I wanted to reach out to you privately and in confidence. And let me know why I'm Okay, so the, this is a message from Colleen to Cody Rance after Adam posted his video, okay? I wanted to reach out to you. This is Colleen to Cody. I wanted to reach out to you privately and in confidence and let you know why I'm staying silent. After he sent me that last message, he sent me that last message that he has now made public. I responded to his messages immediately. I did not ghost him. And then received a message from his mother through his DMs asking me not to speak to him. I now realize I should have never been communicating with him in the first place. However, he is lying about a lot and showing things out of context and will get major backlash if I were to expose that. But I'm trying my best to respect his family's wishes and protect him as a minor as best as I can. I'm sad and disappointed about all of this and I'm just trying to keep it together right now. So that is what Colleen said to Cody about um adam basically saying that he's taking things out of context i'm staying silent because his mom dm'd me and asked me not to speak about him anymore and she's saying that i should not speak to him i shouldn't have spoken to him as a minor this then that blah 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 girl too late you knew that back then This is a mess. No, you should not have. He was a literal child. Oh, Cody is saying that Adam wasn't even the only child that Colleen was talking to. How um, how many other? And apparently, they're coming out with their stories as well. But how many other literal children? Was Colleen just talking to about her life like that? That's a little, that's, that's a lot of strange. It's strange. Like, these are people you do not know. You don't know them. Why are you giving them all this information about your life for one? And then they're tr like, you find out that they're kids and you're still talking to them? Like, she had to have known Adam's age. Colleen had to have known Adam's age. Had to have. Really, in DMs, talking to children about a fiat. Here's one. Are you a virgin? This is a dang on screenshot from a group chat where Colleen is asking minors in this group chat, are you a virgin? This is right here in my face. 
literally i'm looking at the screenshot the top of it the name of the group chat is called the weenies wow yeah, she says adam you need a you need questions for your q a and then says are you a virgin What's your favorite position? And she's saying that into the weenies group chat. Colleen, honey. Colleen. And this brings me back to Trisha because it is very strange because Trisha is somebody who has dealt with situations like this in her past. And she's so heavily against it and has talked about it and has given her stories and this, that, and the other. So the fact that she is now working closely with this woman, Colleen, that is being accused of doing the same thing and she's saying nothing is disgusting. Trisha, like you, you need to figure out what it is that you want to say. Maybe in the background, they are getting together and making a podcast where they're going to talk about the situation together Although I think it is something that Colleen should do on her own. Why are you going to drag Trisha into your shit? Um, but Trisha should say something separately. Or even if it's just like a little tweet. I see what's going on online. You know, I do not at all support or condone this. I'm absolutely against it. Something like a little tweet. You don't even have to do a fucking video. But the thing about Trisha, Trisha would be quick to do a fucking rant in a video on somebody she would be so fucking quick anytime someone talks shit about her she would be so quick to do a video on them and call them out on their shit but nothing is happening here with colleen it is very interesting and it makes you fucking wonder why Favorite it does children. situation here is a screenshot from the video this was about when colleen was queer baiting i made a video on that this whole situation i thought was colleen found out from this video that i posted that the queer baiting thing was actually adam i thought he was mad because like he's a kid it doesn't matter wow he's a child. children make mistakes you know a lot of people were mad at adam now she's like am i gonna get in trouble be careful i don't want to be in a scandal and have to apologize not even showing any sympathy wow for how it's all about her. I think it's very important that you realize that. This is all me, 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 me. I think this is one of the most important messages I've ever seen from Colleen. I don't want I don't want to be in a scandal and have to apologize. And here we are. And um that then she's they're right. Cody's right. This screenshot says a lot about Colleen and how she's dealing with this situation now. I don't want to be in a scandal and have to apologize well baby you're in a fucking scandal and you're gonna have to say fucking something i can't say that you can have to apologize because if you're so not sorry then you're fucking not sorry but you're gonna have to say something if you want to keep your head above water My thing is like, why do people say that? I'm not mad. She's tweeting. I'm not. She's in this message. Colleen is saying this. I'm not mad at all. I'm just paranoid because everybody always gets mad at me. And I always have to apologize. Always. Everyone always gets mad at you. And you always have to apologize. What are you doing <laughs> to cause that? Why are you feeling like people are always mad at you? Like, why are you feeling like people you're always having to apologize what is happening what are you doing let's let's talk about that apparently you were doing a whole hell of a fucking lot maybe that's why you're always having to apologize and why you're paranoid and everybody like that don't put it off on the other people don't put it off on the other people colleen like this shit it's insane it says this is another message she is showing all these screenshots from colleen 
This is one of the main reasons it's hard to do Miranda now. People have a hard time understanding satire and jokes, especially with the sensitive topics. Uh, I'm so glad everything is doing well, but even though you have the password now, I need to approve everything you post before you post. It just so just to avoid problems, okay? Oh, so this is her probably to Adam. Or is this her to Cody? It might slow the process down a little, but we got to be careful. I think this is to Adam because she was having Adam do shit on her behalf. And she's saying how one of the main reasons it's hard to do Miranda because people are sensitive to sensitive topics. So for right now, don't post anything before we get approval because we just have to be careful and avoid other problems, you know, because we don't want those problems. Murdered by your uncle when you're the Miranda character? That's not what? What does she just say? Colleen would joke about being immorted by her uncle as this Miranda Sings character. I have no clue what the F a Miranda Sings is. I literally only know what they look like. And I fucking hate it with that red lipstick. It looks crazy. But this is why. This is why people aren't getting your Miranda Sings character or your satire or jokes anymore. And don't play it off and say it's sensitive topics like you just said in this message. When you're apparently joking around about the N-word in your uncle. I'm just trying to think of like where people are pulling this shit like you know like where like and why do you think it's fucking funny and something to joke about in what mind and what way in what world is that funny to joke about I haven't even seen it I don't give a fuck about a context or what context it was in no like it's just it's not making sense to me Oh my gosh, she's pulling up screenshots of Colleen using the R word in a joking way. Everyone. What? I am not reading this correctly. Like, she's using R word like. I'm murdered by your uncle when you're the Miranda character. Like. I'm just gonna like, okay, Colleen is not not a good person, not, literally this screenshot from her Twitter says, oh my god, the public bathroom, the public restroom I'm in smells like R-A-P-E, hashtag gagging. What? 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 Everyone, R word at Joshua with love and hugs right now. What? Joking about R wording, your then husband. Was it satire? All right, cookies, go follow at He's Hilarious and you should all R word it. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, my God. Why would she think that's okay? Why would Colleen think that that's okay to use that word that many times in a playful manner to another effing person? I see why she's not saying anything now. Because there's not shit to say. You can't, there's nothing... The shit that she, like this, what, what are you going to say to explain away using the R word in these contexts over and over again? Nobody wants to hear that shit. Nobody, like, it, because it would just be an excuse. It would be a blatant excuse because you did it multiple times and you clearly thought it was funny. Edgy. Quirky. I mean, God, I'm so different. Let me use the R word like this. Like, no, it's not cute. It's not like people try to be so fucking different and try to push the envelope and it's just like you come off looking dumb as hell like that. Telling people they should R word your friend Harvey? Was it satire you joking about R wording your young audiences? Oh my. 
every screenshot that she has put up right now has gotten worse and worse. Hey fool, sorry I've been MIA. Moving is killing me right now. I'll be R-wording your Twitter feeds again very soon. There are no words. There are no words. Like, what? Oh my! Haters gonna hate. Potatoes gonna potate. Tomatoes gonna tomate. Our words gonna our word. And that looks like she posted that on Facebook. And it has 70 little thumbs ups. That was 2012 in April when she wrote that. Because it has a date. I'm disgusted. I'm absolutely fucking disgusted. I don't even want to watch anymore. I get the gist. That's what I wanted to. That's what I wanted anyway. I... I Wow. Wow. I'm so happy that Adam is being vindicated. Um, it probably shouldn't have came from Cody Rantz dropping this video and reviving it all. Um, but I am happy that people are now knowing what the fuck is going on because this happened in 2020. Really wasn't on my radar at all until now, three years later. So I'm sure that there's other people like that that are now understanding and hearing about this and, you know, are upset and want answers and want Colleen to say something and want vindication for Adam and want Trisha to say something. And it's just like, this is a lot. This is a whole fucking lot. And I hope that Adam is okay at the end of it and I hope that the other people with whom have been affected and have been in these group chats that were underage talking to Colleen because I'm sure if Colleen was talking to Adam this way she was talking to other fucking people in this way that were minors and they have been coming out I hope that they're okay as well and Colleen needs to say something she needs to say something and I think I'm gonna keep it right there and not say anything else until either her or Trisha says something. Because at this point, the shit that I'm seeing is just like, it goes deep. Those screenshots were a little much. Like not even a little much, it was, it was a lot of much. Like who jokes about shit like that? I thought the worst was over, but no, she's going through even more shit that Colleen has put up. Apparently, she used to have a show on, guest YouTube called Colleen's Corner, and the thumbnail says, I am a P-word. What? A five minute long video. Who jokes about these things? Colleen, girl. What's, what, what, what? What are we doing? Call yourself a P word. It does satire. Even I don't know the next is called satire. You're joking about Mexican people. Oh, oh! Colleen is just. I don't like clueless people. No large Mexican man. I do not want to talk to you while I'm tanning. I'm ignoring you. That means go away. Colleen is horrible. She is horrible. What? There's another one where she says she has a special ed smile. Her joking about having an eating disorder. This one using the R word again. There's another one. This. Her making fun of the S word. Oh! I think Colleen has to change. So I would do her dirty work for her and try to get me on her side. And it worked sadly. Now I believe the reason that she DM'd me was so I would make this video. I would make a video that would defend her. So she is saying that Colleen was sending her like those messages like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to keep it together and everything like that. Being all him and hauling and shit because she wanted 
Cody Rance to make a video going out against Adam who had just posted his video about Colleen's crazy ass and the way that she had done him and that is where we are and why okay so I've got it I'm not watching this anymore because this is just I've seen thing after fucking thing of this woman and she's clearly just doesn't give a fuck just doesn't give a fuck and she hasn't said anything and you know silence probably is not the answer in a situation like this it's not just gonna go away it's not just gonna go under the rug again now now you're known you're people are looking at you sideways I'm definitely looking at Colleen like get it the fuck together you need to like it's not good that's not good at all